everybody. Um, just thought I'd share my <clears throat> bike I'm building, motorbike. Um, just thought I'd share because there's a lot of things you can learn from doing something like this on a smaller frame bike. This is a boys bike 20 inch boys bike uh, i think it's a mccargy hero um it's a pretty small frame and you wouldn't normally be able to get an engine on a bike like this very easily at least um uh i guess i'll just show you some of the stuff I've had to do to make it fit. But uh, I can just start with a smaller sprocket. If your uh, sprocket's too big, it'll hit the bottom of the motor. So uh, you can get a smaller sprocket. Um, another thing you might deal with is the fitment of the pedals uh, that can be fixed by as you can see there's a lot of room on this side but it can be fixed by sometimes there's an extra sprocket or something or washer in there I can take one of them washers out or two of them washers out and it should even it up um, <clears throat> Another thing you might run into is the carburetor. That's a big one. It's uh, hard to get them carburetors in there on a small frame like this. So um, I had to make my own little intake, but uh, some of these kits come with a steel intake that's, you know, normal up and then straight back. Um, and if you have one of those, you can actually cut the bend off of it and have it shoot kind of straight up and out like that. Or no, never mind, sorry. Uh, you flip it upside down and it shoots kind of down straight. There it goes. Um, you can actually use those, but this is a 40, I think it's whatever, the bigger, bigger intake spacing for the intake, so that wouldn't work for me, because uh, the one I had was for a smaller intake, so I had to make my own here, but uh, you can get a short intake, that downward angle I got on it is kind of ideal what you want when you doing a smaller build like this because you can't really have the engine cocked way forward, way down. Uh, it messes with where the chain sits and all kinds of other stuff. But uh, you can do that, get a sh shorter intake. Also, when I do this, I got to make a little relief for the car bowl. And also... Brutus, will you be quiet? Thank you. Um, trim this off so the carb doesn't hit it. Also, you can, you don't have to run this back, um, whatever it's called, you know, thing that slides on here before you put it on the tube. Um, I just cut a little relief into this one. And, yeah, it's kind of like a lot closer to the chain, which is good. Uh, the further you bring the be engine back, the closer to the chain, the shorter the chain, the better, at least in my mind. Um, also, you can shave a little bit out of this top of the engine here, or this part of the engine here, and it'll sit further down, further towards this corner which is what I'm going for to give more room up here. Um, also, I shaved some of this head. That way it would fit right down in there. Uh, fit 
It's pretty nice. The spark plug boot barely fits on there, but it does. Brutus, cut it out. Um, I'm actually thinking on this build of putting a little slot, welding a little slot of steel on the <clears throat> bottom of the frame here. So when I put the engine in, it'll slide right up into that little slot and kind of lock the head in place. <clears throat> but I'm debating on that because I'm actually going to cut the frame here and put probably like a one inch wide maybe eighth inch thick uh, flat sort of diamond shape piece of steel I'm gonna weld it in there and put a thread and this is gonna be my gas tank here uh, it's gonna be a little bit bigger up here on the top when I do that so the capacity should be okay and then I'll just cut off of the original tank the engine come with. I'll just cut it right off of the tank. The little spigot thing. Hold on, let me find what yeah. We'll just cut this right off of this tank and weld it onto that frame tube. And that should work for hooking up the fuel lines and why not? Um, I suppose you want to see how that carburetor fits. As soon as I can find it. Um, it's quite a tight fit. Uh, let's see if I can do this one handed. I don't have that screw on there. Dang it. Just one minute. Alright. Easy to just take the engine out. Slide the carburetor. And get it on there. It's a tight fit. But finally got it to fit. Barely fits. But the carburetor sits real nice in there, I think. Um, sitting level, pretty level. It's a little leaned back, but not too much. I also changed out this cable. That way the cable doesn't bang into the frame. Uh, I did put a little dent in there just to help make sure it clear. And it was helping me mount to all this intake up and stuff. But it's alright. I'm repainting this frame. Um, let's see. What else can you do to fit it to a smaller frame? Uh, you can do them side side shot intakes, but they're so long and they rob you of so much performance. You're, you know, the RPM is diminished greatly like you don't have any RPM uh, compared to if you got a real short intake I noticed that I've ran them side angle side carburetor intakes whatever uh, them dogs crazy doggos all right so yeah where was I um yeah don't use that 
side shot intake. You're just going to lose a lot of performance. Um, not sure what filter I'm going to be able to run on here, but I might have to make just like some kind of screen filter that clamps on. Probably make it kind of bulky just so it has plenty of flow. And I'm not sure on the exhaust yet, but I'll handle that when we get there. Um, yeah, it's a nice bike. Well, it's cheap bike, but I like the look. The engine sits in there nicely, finally. Uh, I'm probably going to try to get some mag rims and uh, hopefully I can figure something out with that to mount up the sprocket. Uh, but should be a nice looking bike when I'm all done. Um, the intake I made turned out pretty good. It should work just fine. Doesn't stop the most best looking thing or whatever. And it's kind of ugly, but I'll clean it up. It'll look nicer when, before I'm done with the bike. But yeah, this is a Samger motor. Uh, I got another video kind of reviewing it, telling you what I found on the inside. Um, it's not the best motor I've received, and it's not the worst, but it should do the job. It should go pretty fast, I guess, as long as I tune it. Uh, I got a whole bunch of jets to tune that carburetor. Um... And as long as I get a good exhaust, it should be pretty fast. Uh, yeah, hope you like the bike. I think it's pretty cool, and I think it'll turn out to be a nice looking bike when I'm all done. Real clean looking. Engine sits in there clean. There's not going to be the big ugly gas tank up there. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do to it. Not just. No, it's going to be a nice looking bike when I'm done. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you didn't like it, that's fine. Let me know what you, what you didn't like. And if you do, you know, subscribe and follow along. I'll probably post some updates on it just to see how it's going. And yeah. Have a good one.